interpretations, as always, if lawyers sit together, is very vast, and I'm not particularly happy with the result at the moment. Uh, so I'm looking with a lot of jealousy to your, to your country, and also to France, and to a certain extent now, maybe it also starts in the UK, but uh, Germany, but I don't know whether you agree with me, is a, is, is a bit uh, difficult to, um, to process on a political level. I, I think it's true that no country yet has has figured out this balance uh, between, and it is in part a balance between uh, making sure that pirated content is not uh, is not widely uh, you know be able to be downloaded. At the same time, you know the the, the internet, the ISPs don't want uh, all their and and and. Developers of software, for example, don't want their businesses constricted by rules that uh, prevent them from advancing the technology. But I think so. I I think from from our point of view, the critical component has to do with some way to figure out how the ISPs and the credit card companies and the advertisers can be brought on board the side of protecting uh, uh, copyrighted material without blowing up their businesses or interfering with speech. That's why the legislation that's in the United States Senate right now has, they, they've stripped out a provision that would have allowed the Attorney General to keep a list of rogue websites. I mean, without going to court, just keep a list. These are the bad guys, don't deal with them. So that provision is out. That's not gonna continue. And secondly, the Attorney General can identify rogue sites and bring, a, uh, bring an action against them, but he can't do it without going to a court, getting a court order, and uh, giving the, uh, the operator of the site, for example, or the credit card company, or the, or the advertisers, to come into court and say, wait a minute, we're a legitimate site, or advertiser, or a credit card company, we ought to be able to do what we're doing with this in this particular case. So as long as you have a uh, protections for, you know, due process, essentially, for those who uh, are operating a site, then hopefully that deals with the major concern of those who uh, care about free speech as, as we all do. Exactly, but the rogue sites are becoming more and more popular the longer they let the illegal links online because then the illegal uploaders see, well, if I put it there, at least it's available for three, four, five days. We monitored, uh, we're still monitoring the book of Tony Blair right now, uh, which, uh, which has been interesting to see what the legal activity was with that. But the first link we found uh, and that's then the only link that people can find, it took us three and a half days to take offline because the people didn't respond. And that is a very sensitive uh, illegal link then at that moment. If you have a hundred and there's only mm -hmm. one that's, you know, but that's one. And, and we really are trying to battle and get that uh, response time down. But yeah, it's, it's not up to us. We've time for one last question. develop programs or initiatives. Um, for instance, iTunes turned the whole music industry upside down and made it possible to make it to make uh, downloads legal or really uh, giving an industry a, a whole new home. Do you foster also these this initiatives and this, uh, these uh, thoughts on the production side? Let me g give an answer to that that's outside the scope of what I do. Uh, within the industry, there are always debates about whether, let's say, let's say this, that the prices for products need to vary to some extent with the wealth of the society, with the wealth of the country. And so in some areas of the world where there are uh, illegal downloads, uh, there's always a question about whether or not the pricing is right. Mm -hmm. And and it clearly, so, but I think that that's one, it, that is not anything that you know, a, a business association can get into it all. But in, but in the publishing world, that, that's one area. Certainly with the music industry, I think a lot of people would agree that the, the uh, part of the mischaracterization or the miscalculation there was the industry was trying to sell albums when individuals wanted to buy, you know, single songs. I don't see that 
is a that kind of problem happening with respect to book publishing, but but there are other ways of trying to deal with you know to get your material out to the widest possible audience. Um, thank you all very much uh, for your time and especially for your engagement. We're very grateful. Uh, enjoy the rest of the mess. Have a good afternoon.